till now we have seen all the functions which are non recursive functions now let us see how we can find the time complexity of recursive functions okay now let me take one simple example of a recursive function that is finding the factorial of a number we have seen this example before now let me take this example again okay so let us say we have to find we have to write a function to find the factorial of a number and this number is int n fine now this is a non recursive program so what i can do is i can take a variable i and j so i can take int i comma j is equal to 1 then for i is equal to 1 or you can say i is equal to 1 i less than equal to n and i plus plus we have to make j is equal to j multiplied by i fine this is a very simple program to find the factorial of a number as you can see it is a very simple program okay now let me write a recursive functions here function here also okay. let me take fun and n if n is equal to 1 then return 1 or you can say if n is equal to less than equal to 0 that is also a valid case both these cases are valid fine then else we can do fun else we can do n into fun of n minus 1 okay so this is a recursive function how we found this recursive function we have we already know what is a uh, what is the mathematical form uh, math mathematical way of finding the factorial of a number what is the factorial of a number we have to do if we find we want to find the factorial of n then this can be written as 1 if n is equal to 1 right or it can be written as n into factorial of n minus 1 otherwise so this is a factorial of a number in mathematical way so i am giving the same thing into this function okay now let me see in this case how many times this for loop will run this for loop loop will run approximately order of n time you have seen this example lot of times i have told you this example lot of time and it's a very simple example to find the time complexity but here in this case there are no for loops there are no while loops and still we are finding the factorial of a number right but what we have done here is we have used recursive programming right we have we are calling this function recursively and every time we are passing the value of n minus 1 okay now if you want to find the uh, time complexity of this function you have to identify how many times this whole function will be executed right remember what i am saying here in this case these statements are being repeated these statements are repeated because because of this for loop but here in this case the whole function is repeated because every time i am calling this function again okay, how it is repeating we can say if you want to find the factorial of a number n or you can you want to find the factorial of a number n then to find the factorial of a number n right what you are doing you are doing n into factorial of n minus 1 which we already know factorial of n minus 1 which we already know and we are we know that if the value of n is less than equal to 0 then it is 1 then what you can do is time taken to find factorial of n numbers let us suppose the value which we passed is n then we can say how in what time we can identify the factorial of a number then we can say time taken to find the factorial of a number n is equal to time taken to find the factorial of a number which is n minus 1 time taken to find a factorial of a number which is n minus 1 plus time taken to perform to do this continue this uh, constant operation that is time taken to compare this value and time taken for this multiplication now every time whenever you are going to compare this value this is going to take constant time which is equal to order of 1 and this also going to take constant time you can write this as order of 1 or plus c as a constant value Fine, or you can make this write this function as time taken to find a factorial of a number is equal to time taken to find the factorial of a number which is n minus one plus constant time 
to perform this multiplication and to perform this multiplication right so you can see here this is a recursive call time taken to find n is equal to time taken to find n minus 1 plus constant right for simplicity i am going to take this one okay now let us try to solve this in this case you can see next time if you want to find the value of t of n minus 1 we have to substitute this value here then t of n minus 1 will, will be put n minus 1 in all these cases instead of n whenever you are going to get n put n minus 1 in that case then this will become t of n minus 1 minus 1 plus order of 1 which is equal to t of n minus 2 plus order of 1 right that means time taken to find the factor of n minus 1 is equal to t of time taken to find the factor of n minus 2 plus order of 1 put this value here in this case then this will become time taken to find the factor of n is equal to time taken to find the factor of n minus 2 plus order of 1 plus order of 1 fine now you have to identify what is the value of this now let me find the value of t of n minus 2 what is time taken to find the factor of n minus 2 it will be equal to put n minus 2 in case of n every time where you every everywhere uh, wherever you are go to, going to get n put the value of n is n minus 2 therefore it will become time taken to find the factor of n minus 2 minus 1 plus order of 1 right so here in this case i have in uh, i have substituted the value which is n minus 2 which is equal to time taken to find the factor of n minus 3 plus order of 1 again put this value in in this in this equation so it will become time taken to find the factor of n is equal to time taken to find a factor of n minus 3 plus order of 1 plus order of 1 plus order of 1 fine now if you extend this then you can identify then it is time taken to find the factor of n is equal to time taken to find factor of n minus k plus order of uh, plus k into order of 1 plus k into order of 1 here it is 3 3 into 1 here it is uh, here if you case in this case you can see it is 2 into 1 and here in this case you can see 1 into 1 right therefore it is k into 1 fine now when this function will be terminated this recursive call will be terminated when the value of n is less than equal to 0 right or you can say if, if I just write the statement as if n is equal to 1 then return 1 I can also write this as 1 fine in that case you can say if the value of number is 1 or less than 1 then it is going to take order of 1 time that is a constant time now when I want to find the value of t of n minus k then we can say let k is equal to n minus 1 right now if we take k is equal to n minus 1 then this statement will come t of n is equal to t of n minus n minus 1 plus n minus 1 into 1 so why I have taken k is equal to n minus 1 because I want to make eliminate this statement and to eliminate this statement I have to make this statement as 1 if I can make it t, t of 1 then I know what is the value of t of 1 fine in that case what, will, what this will do this is t of n minus n plus 1 plus n minus 1 here n to n cancel therefore it can be written as t of 1 plus n minus 1 and t of 1 is order of 1 so it can be written as t of uh, 1 plus n minus 1 which is equal to order of n hence this complete function is going to be executed order of n times that means if we write a recursive program to find a factorial of a number or a non recursive program to find a factorial of a number then both of them are going to take order of n time I, it was a very simple example I hope you understand what I am doing here is let me repeat it again what I am doing here is for a recursive program for a non recursive program we can easily identify how many times the for loop is executing or how many times any loop is being executed and according to that loop we can find the time complexity right but in case of recursive program we don't know how many times the statements will be executed the statements will be executed on the basis of number of recursive calls and then we have to identify what are the number of recursive calls and according to those recursive calls we can find the time complexity okay